Hello and welcome to a special edition of The Big Fight coming to you from Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. You know, there's, there's one prediction you can always make about a general election and you can make it safely this time too, which is that Uttar Pradesh is going to be crucial. And whatever happens in UP is going to be crucial because at the end of the day, there are 80 seats out here. And this time, perhaps more than any election in the last uh, two or three, there's a particular focus on UP because there is a sense that this is the place from where Narendra Modi's ambitions to be Prime Minister could well get a springboard or they could be derailed. And that's the reason why Modi himself has come to fight right here in Uttar Pradesh from Varanasi. So what is going to happen in UP in these elections? What are likely to be some of the major key factors that we should be keeping a close eye on? We have a panel of experts here in Lucknow who are going to help us take it through, take us through all of that. I'm going to start off by welcoming Mr. Dinesh Sharma, who's a national executive member of the BJP, but also the mayor here in yeah. Lucknow. Sitting next to him is Gaurav Bhatia, the head of the legal cell of the Samajwadi Party. Um, uh, Samajwadi Party, of course, is ruling out here. Not sure whether you're going to be repeating your performance of the assembly elections. We are you, sure. You might not be sure. <laughs> I, I said I'm not sure you're repeating your performance of the assembly election. If you do, it will be a completely different picture, of course. We have Hilal Ahmed next, the spokesperson of the Congress Party. And in your case, the last Lok Sabha election where the Congress surprised everybody, got 23 seats from Uttar Pradesh, and that was a major factor which took you to 206. This time, once again, we are going to surprise. Definitely On the upside or downside? Uh, definitely, uh, getting more than 20, definitely getting more than two, uh, 23 seats. I'll tell you one thing. If the Congress gets more than 23 seats, you're right. It'll be the biggest single surprise of this election. If the Congress gets more than we, 23 We are surprising uh, in 2004. We have surprised in 2009. We have surprised. And once again, in 2014, we'll be surprising. Uh, uh. All right. Next, we have Dr. Vivek Kumar, Professor, Department of Sociology at JNU, who has, well, not a member of the Bhajan Samaj Party, but really keeps a very close eye on everything that they're doing. And I think it would be fair to say a sympathizer and an and a ideologue course. who actually helps out the Bhajan Samaj Party a great deal. So yeah. whether the BSP is going to make a big comeback here in Uttar Pradesh is something that we will wait and watch. And then we have two top journalists who know exactly what's going to happen and will tell us down to the constituency and the winning margin of what's going to happen on the 16th of May. So Sharad Pradhan, it's great to have you with us. And also Sunita Aaron, uh, who's a senior resident editor of uh, the HD. Thank you both so much. So Sharad Who's winning how many seats? Tell us, quick. Well, uh, uh, from what the pre present scenario is, it appears that uh, Modi, there is some kind of a way for Modi. It is not the BJP. It's for a change. It is not the party. I feel that unwittingly, we are drifting towards of some kind of a presidential form of uh, election where it is the personality of a of a leader which is taking the so party in ahead. UP, so in UP, it's the Modi factor. It's the Modi factor, the Modi which factor. nobody can ignore. The fact that he's contesting and Banaras has made a big difference. It would make, it would make, it is expected to make a difference. Even otherwise, you know, the, the common feeling is that wherever, in the BJP, irrespective of the candidate, they, they're, and they're, that's what they're publicizing also, in every candidate you see a Modi. In and that is what it, because candidates, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sunita, I'm going to come to you for your prediction, but, in ka kehna hai ki har ek umidwar ab kehte hai, ab Modi ko vote de rahe hai. Ab iske do baje ho sakte hai. Ek to Modi leher hai, jiska ap, you know, faida uthana cha rahe hai. Dusra possibility ye bhi hai, dusri possibility ki aapko utte achhi umidwar nahi mil rahe. Aur ticket dene ke maamle mein bhi kaafi chik chik to shuru ho hi gai hai. Dusri party mein jab ticket ke tiktarthi nahi hai, to maa pe madhbet ka prashna kam uhtta hai. Jahaan tak Modi ji ka prashna hai, Modi ji aur BJP alag alag nahi hai. एक की सिक्के के दो पहलू हैं और मैं समझता हूं उत्तर प्रदेश का जो चुनाव है वो एक नकारात्मक दृष्टिकोण से दूसरे दल लड़ रहे हैं क्या आपको नहीं लगता है कि कुछ जो अभी हुआ है टिकट के डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन को लेकर एक तरह से लोग सीनियर बीजेपी के लीडर्स को लग रहा है अपने मन में कि शायद किसी तरह से हमारा अपमान हुआ हमें अच्छी तरह बताया नहीं गया मुरली मनोहर जोशी डॉक्टर मुरली मनोहर जोशी जैसे एक वरिष्ठ नेता जो इतने सारे सालों से भाजपा के साथ हैं उनको बताया भी नहीं गया कि अब आपकी सीट नहीं आपने यार मैं समझता हूं अगर मोदी जी को बनारस के लिए उपयुक्त समझा जाता है तो मैं जहां से पार्टी निर्देश दी कि वहां से मैं लड़ूंगा ऐसा वक्तव्य देकर उन्होंने अपनी स्थिति को साफ कर दिया है और जहां तक आप लखनऊ की या अन्य जगहों की बात कर रहे हैं आज आप देखिए श्री लाल जी टंडन जी यहाँ के सांसद थे स्वयं वो नेतृत्व करके चुनाव लड़ा रहे हैं जो अधिकतम स्कोर है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का उसको हम क्रॉस करेंगे इस बार उत्तर प्रदेश के चुनाव। 57 टॉप स्कोर उसको मैं हम लोग क्रॉस करेंगे 
और okay. खुद आपका जो सर्वेक्षण बताता है उसने भी चालीस से ऊपर ही बताया अभी तक हमारा ओपिनियन पेज चालीस से रहा है Call. I think it is. If you want me to give some numbers, it could be around 30, 35, according to me, for BJP, and the remaining will be shared by the three secular parties. It's a secular block. Now people talk about BSP as the second party. I don't know. We have to study because she depends on uh, caste coalition at constituency level. I think each and every constituency has to be studied before making any prediction. But 2009, certainly she was. She ended runner-up in 47 constituencies. That's the strength she had. And uh, that time there was anti-incumbency against BSP. She was in power. Referring to as so for Congress. So you would say that the that the number two to the to the BJP no. in your assessment would be the Bahujan Samaj Party. No, I'm not saying so. I'm saying this is the block. Say 30, 35. The remaining will be shared by the three parties. Congress is at the bottom end. They're waiting for a miracle to happen. Which happened in 2009, which we don't see because most of the 21 constituencies or so they won. In 2012, they lost in all 95 segments. They had won. If you see their track record. Yeah. And uh, coming to Samajwadi Party after Muzaffar Nagar rights, they have been able to regain slightly, but not enough to be number one. But actually, you know, this was in many ways your election to lose when you win. in the state election in 2000 and 2012 with the margin that you did let's remember it there was a fair distinct gap in the vote share and in terms of seats it was far more 224 down to nothing you should have been in a position where you could have gone to the people with two years of solid government solid governance a uh, pro incumbency factor <coughs> coming back with 50 to 60 seats for the samajwadi party or at least 40 seats and been a major king maker in delhi but that's not the way it's looking as if it's going to happen the last 2 years if there has been any party that has delivered on the manifesto that it uh, took forward to the people it has been the samajwadi party so i would beg to disagree with you okay, can that I, we have not been can I working that, hard enough but i i would like can to I, just can complete can I, can my can just one second yeah. just pause pause press the pause button mujhe can i put that there is no pause button here but i will allow you to <laughs> interrupt <laughs> me <laughs> <Just> one <laughs> quick pause button why don't i put that put that assertion to test if right? i would have completed my I'll, entire I'll, Uh, line it would have been better for you to ask the audience after that i just wanted to put forward what we have done and the other alternates that are available to the general public let me just frame my you know sentence and then you can let me it. ask them then i'll come back to you <laughs> i promise you okay i'm going to ask the audience out here how many of you are disappointed disappointed with the samajwadi party government's performance in the last two years how many are disappointed raise your hands okay it's virtually everybody excepting for that gentleman and that lady sitting down here <laughs> why are you not disappointed <laughs> well he's a young leader uh, we must give him some time to deliver ah wait a minute wait a minute wait, wait a minute <laughs> young leader give him some time to deliver sounds as if you're disappointed with what he's done so far uh, i would definitely give time to the young leader to come up because there's a lot of uh, pull and push and potential okay. uh, amongst the oh uh, the the leaders i always get worried when people start talking about potential bachche <laughs> <laughs> bachche mein potential hai eventually acha yes. karega yes so it's, it's a slightly worrying who thing. should give the time okay so who's disappointed who was disappointed why don't you say something why are you disappointed the public has wo- given given vote for the employment of the youth to the akles not sapa but akles has not done anything for the youth and they are regarding the employment okay. nobody is thinking about the employment of the youth okay I, i'll come back to the audience a little later so you know you get a sense right. majority saying in the, i mean okay this is not a scientific sample okay. i'll admit that but it's a, you but, get but a sense but every person who's sitting there is a voter and i have to respect whatever they are saying in terms of governance people can say that yes there have been some shortcomings but on the upside big companies like infosys and hcl have decided to enter the state they had not done earlier when it comes to metro lucknow is coming up with a metro like delhi then we are talking about a eight lane highway from agra to lucknow these things were stagnant in the erstwhile regime and more importantly i would say the approach of the young chief minister yeah. he is accessible to i mean i do have to break it to you that hcl was in noida earlier which is also yeah. in uttar pradesh it's not exactly no i i i am saying shiv nadar 
is also See, coming. moving from UP to UP, it's no, not coming to UP now for the first at, time. Look at the magnitude of the investment that they are making. 1500 crores they are willing to okay. invest in yes. Lucknow. And I think this is only because our regime and our government has inspired confidence. Right? Let, let, me, let me not turn to somebody else who's not necessarily got audience confidence. Um, in Uttar Pradesh, from because frankly, most people are, feel that 2009 was a bit of a fluke. Maybe, and how you're going to better that this time around is something we are all waiting to hear. No other government has done better work in the last 10 years. Definitely we have failed Can I put to that to the vote also? Yeah, definitely you can. Uh, okay. you can how many of you agree with that? No other government has done as good work in 10 years as the UPA has done. How many agree with that? As many scams. Extraordinary. Any hand? One hand? Okay, one hand. One he hand in this it. entire audience. <laughs> you know, you know, you. So now even you put your hand down. Why do you think the UPA has done wonderful work? India ka kaun sa aisa sector hai, which sector in India, which uh, jo haan tarakki na ho rahi ho? Kaun sa aisa pranth hai, jahaan par ki ye desh aage nahi badh raha hai? Yahaan par loog, bahut sa aise loog hai, jo chaa rahi ki jo manhmoan si saamne... Toh aapko lagta hai ki Uttar Pradesh, UPA ne achha pradarshan tiya? Kar rahi hai, kya hai aur kar rahi hai, kaun se... It is a 2G, CWG, all the old age camp, there are so many good work. Mein aap se ek aur sawaal puchha chaunga. Ye jo chunao aane waale hai, aapko kya lagta hai Uttar Pradesh mein, लोग यहाँ के लोकल इश्यूज पर वोट देने वाले हैं लोकल इश्यूज पर पर नेशनल नेशनल इश्यूज पर यूपीए मोदी नेशनल के लिए कौन सोचता है हाथ ऊपर करें सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ओके सो दे आर ऑल वोटिंग फॉर नेशनल इश्यूज व्हिच इज वन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट द कांग्रेस राइट नाउ कमिंग ऑफ टेन इयर्स � being a prime ministerial candidate. What we have not done is that we have not put our policies properly, make it understand to the public what has been done to them. If you see that in the uh, in what the field has of been social, done to in them the, is a probably the, a pretty bad the, way of putting it. In the, maybe in the accurate, of, but it's a bad way of putting yeah, it. Yeah, in the in the field of uh, social sector, uh, what we have done, each and every one know. Uh, uh, right of education, which has never been uh, there, which, uh, which has been given by the UPA government. Then uh, we have uh, gone for the uh, right to work, which has never been there. We are doing so much work in the social sector, which has never ever been done. Lal, One Lal, thing. Tell me the truth. Tell and me the truth. Have you been found it easy to get 80 candidates in Uttar Pradesh? Uh, like, uh, like, like, if 80 you are, if, candidates. Like, this is, this, is, this is one uh, party where we have got no infights. All the because tickets nobody wants the tickets. No, it is not that. Yeah, it is not like this. This is, this is this is how you perceive. This is how you perceive. No, if you perceive that whatever is happening in Ghaziabad, whatever is happening in uh, Lucknow, whatever is happening in uh, Unnao, whatever is happening in Bijnor, whatever is happening in Dumaria, Ganj, and so many things. If you think that is the correct way of distribution distribution of the ticket, this is not Congress. This is not something which no, Congress thinks. Inka kena hai basically ki inko tickets dene mein koi musibatein nahi ho rahi hain. Jitni Bhajpa ko ho rahi hain. Bhajpa ke liye har ek shetra mein danga chal raha hai. मैंने पहले कहा कि बीजेपी के पास एक सीट पे सौ लोग हैं और कांग्रेस पास एक सीट पे एक या दो हैं तो फाइट तो इन पे नहीं होगी बीजेपी में जो कुछ होता है टिकट के पहले तक लोग अपनी मांग रखते हैं और मांग के टिकट के बाद में जो होता कार्यकर्ता सब उसी को करता जिसको पार्टी सिंबल देता है आज का जो चुनाव है आज का जब तो मुझे बोलने दीजिए आप बोलिए बाद में काले झंडे आज का आज का जो जो सिनेरियो है पूरे भारतवर्ष में और एक ही एक पॉइंट पे सब लड़ रहे हैं जो सपा बसपा कांग्रेस कम्युनिस्ट इन सब का मंतव्य एक ये नहीं है कि मैं प्रधानमंत्री बनाऊंगा उनसे पूछो किसको बनाना है नहीं बताएंगे किसको बनाना है उनसे पूछो करना क्या है बोलेंगे केवल मोदी को नहीं बनाना है आज मोदी को नहीं बनाना है इस पे वो चुनाव लड़ रहे हैं आज उनको अपना किसको बनाना है इसमें वो चुनाव नहीं लड़ रहे हैं तो ये नकारात्मक दृष्टिकोण से जो चुनाव है वो बार, वो आज भारत की जनता से है मोदी मोदी देखिए आज जो मोदी का मोदी जी का जो आज पूरे पूरे देश में जो प्रभाव है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का उसने एक तरफ दो धाराओं को बहाया है एक जो है जो एनडीए की तरफ है जो सकारात्मक दृष्टिकोण रखती है कि एनडीए को फुल मेजोरिटी से आना चाहिए दूसरी है कि हम आए ना आए लेकिन इनको नहीं आना चाहिए और सपा बसपा कांग्रेस अपना दल और जो वो आम आदमी पार्टी जो जितने दल हैं इन सब दलों का एक ही मंतव्य है कि जब भी जब भी सरकार आती है तो okay. सब एक दूसरे के सहयोगी बन जाते हैं चाहे वो कांग्रेस के साथ में आम आदमी पार्टी दिल्ली में रहा हो सपा बसपा ने केंद्र में उनको दिया हो तो जो एंटी इनकम्बेंसी होगा चाहे केंद्र का जो फेलियर होगा या प्रदेश का फेलियर होगा उसके okay. सहभागी तीनों दल होंगे ये चारों दल होंगे अगर अगर भाजपा ये कहती है कि हर कोई ये कहता है कि मोदी को नहीं हम प्रधानमंत्री बनने देंगे तो ये उचित नहीं है 
और ऐसा मैं इसलिए कहता हूं कि बात ये डेवलपमेंट की करते हैं लेकिन मोदी काशी से चुनाव लड़ने की बात करते हैं जो दो एमएलए एक्यूज है मुजफ्फरनगर राइट्स में वो शायद इनके लॉ एंड ऑर्डर का सिंबल हो सकते हैं ये सब ऐसे प्रश्न है जो हर आपके आप ही आप दो दो सीटों के आप आज हम क्या आपके लड़ने जा रहे हैं सिर्फ गोदरा और मुजफ्फर नगर में एक ही चीज कॉमन है और वो है भाजपा भाजपा को ये जवाब देना है कि जब बात आती है सांप्रदायिकता की तो वो सबसे आगे क्यों खड़ी होती है तमाम सरणार्थी रह रहे हैं प्रश्न ये नहीं कि हिंदू रह रहा कि मुसलमान रह रहा आपने जो आप, इतना दंगा आप हुआ इतने सैकड़ों लोग मारे गए आज 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 वहाँ जवाब तो आप, आप रोक क्यों नहीं पाते गुजरात में दो दो हजार के बाद दो हजार के बाद दस साल तक आज दंगे नहीं हुए गुजरात में और आपके मुजफ्फरनगर में एक साल में सौ से ऊपर संप्रदायिक दंगे हुए लोकसभा के तो आप क्या चले और नहीं है आप क्या कहना चाह रहे जनता को की आप दंगे कराई और मैं आपको टिकट दूंगा दंगे आपको जो है दंगे करा के आपका पोलराइजेशन करना आजमगढ़ से क्यों लड़ा उन्होंने पोलराइज आज वो पोलराइज का सवाल बहुत अहम सवाल है मैं इस पर एक दो मिनट में आता हूं वापस बट आई हैव फ्रॉम डॉक्टर विवेक कुमार जस्ट वेयर इज द बहुजन समाज पार्टी स्टैंड इन ऑल ऑफ दिस द पॉइंट इज दैट यूपी हैज गॉन इन टू स्प्लिट पॉलिटिक्स इट वोट्स वेरी डिफरेंटली इन असेंबली इलेक्शन एंड इट वोट्स वेरी डिफरेंटली इन पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शन दैट वी हैव सीन एंड विद इन पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शन इट वोट्स इन अ वेरी वेरी कॉन्सॉलिडेटेड मैनर एंड यू कैन सी Uh, away from Mujaffa, uh, from Faizabad to Farukhabad hmm. and Muradabad also, and then to Aligarh. So, if you see, last time what happened, Congress got 17 percent of votes, and they got 22 seats. BSP got 28 percent of vote and got 90. So, there is something very different. Which takes place in because UP? Because the BSP vote was more divided, Congress was was so, more consolidated so, and first passed the vote. And, and if there was a wave, then. The uh, uh, Modi should not have seen a very comfortable seat, and that to Varanasi. If there is a wave, he could have contested from ah, anywhere. Ah ha ha! Now I tell you why he went to Varanasi. Sometimes in urban centers and in Delhi, it said you know those the politics of religion and the politics of caste is all behind us, and uh, is now it's all about development and bichri sadak pani. Is that entirely true, uh, Sharad? Or at the end of the day, here in Uttar Pradesh, when you're actually going to see votes being delivered. At the end of the day, some of those old issues of polarization, of getting communities and communal factors yeah, together, yeah. of the symbolism of Narendra Modi fighting from Varanasi mm -hmm. and or from from Banaras, and then the caste issues, the fact that Modi is a OBC, will all of those still play a very important factor? Well, caste, uh, unfortunately, caste and communal factors continue to be there, and they will probably remain there for uh, until the youth of this country. Changes the attitude, which seems to have made a beginning in 2009. There were constituencies where people did vote beyond caste and religion. Mm. No, no, much to the chagrin of a lot of political parties. But you, what I what I said um, earlier, the Modi factor is playing a different because the way Modi has conducted. There are two reasons, uh, three reasons why Modi is getting an edge. You know, first of all, the most primary reason that the, he doesn't have a contender. The only contender that you see when you look at the larger national picture is Rahul Gandhi, and when you put them on the scale, they are far. All right, you know, so he is making that, a referendum on leadership. Yeah, correct, that, yes. that, that's one reason. The second one is that Modi has been able to, right or wrong, has been able to showcase the Gujarat model. So there is a development plan. Yeah, and development the plan. Leader plan. And, and the the people of the country, because of this in in U, in UP in particular, they are looking for change. Because they were hoping, there were a lot of hopes from Akhilesh. Yeah, and that's the reason Akhilesh got such a massive edge. Somebody rightly pointed out that it was Akhilesh that people voted so this for. This is not a and chief because, minister's election. Please, please, this I know that. I know that. Election. No, 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 I know. And this is not. So a, is Modi going to come and become chief minister of Do UP? Doctor Vivek Kumar, you were referring to a Sorry. figure which he was talking of 2009 statistics, which research he has yeah. done on, on the basis of that. No, 2012. I'm talking about. 2012, okay, yeah. 2014. Yeah. So no, no, I'm asking. Like, so the, uh, essentially, the is, as far as uh, Modi and development is concerned. As far as UP is concerned, he is putting up a mask of development, and behind that, a communal force is acting. Do that MP something. from Muzaffarnagar has got the ticket from Bijnor. No, no. Why? Why That's that thing has happened? That's a big question that the BJP mm -hmm. likes to answer. They, okay. they just, yeah, that, it, it is just the mask Kumar, of the development. Yeah, the yeah. I, I just want to. Some people are talking about development, but declaring your caste background so blatantly, do you think that he is fighting on development plank? Second, then. Welcoming Dalit leaders outrightly, 
So what's wrong with welcoming Dalit leaders? <laughs> but I that thought my own. Yeah, she has been highlighting <laughs> her uh, no, no, if, cast. If, all throughout yeah, yeah, this politics. Is, but so if Mayawati does it, then it's then fine. It's fair. They then, have then, but if any other team. party does it, <laughs> I'm, not and, saying, I'm not <laughs> saying. Is there something it's wrong? I'm saying. Dineji, I'm saying Dineji, is there something wrong in the B, in the in the BJP either inducting Dalit leaders as Dalit leaders? No, no. And is there anything caste wrong? Identity. Is there anything wrong in a state like Uttar Pradesh where caste and or Bihar or other places where caste matters for Mr. Modi to be making a major, to be talking about the fact that I am an OBC leader? And, and of but course, which cast uh, he's not telling? But he also, but he, he also, but he OBC also talks about the humble origins. Chal, Vikram, it's very dicey thing. BJP you are declaring OBC in generic sense, but not the cast. We have fought for the development of the development of the development of the development. और जहां तक आप बात कर रहे हैं कि उत्तर प्रदेश में जो चुनाव का सिनेरियो है पूरी तरीके से कांग्रेस का जो भ्रष्टाचार और महंगाई उत्तर प्रदेश में समाजवादी पार्टी का जो अपराध और कानून व्यवस्था और पिछली सरकार का जो बहुजन समाज पार्टी का जो फेलोर था जो भ्रष्टाचार का था आरोप था उसके आधार पर जनता ने बीजेपी का जो डेवलपमेंट का प्रोग्राम देखा है गुजरात में गुजरात मॉडल के रूप में और एक स्ट्रांग लीडरशिप के रूप में मोदी जी को जो देखा है वो बिंदुओं पर दोनों भागों में चुनाव होगा इनका कहना है कि इनके साथ साथ एक थर्ड फैक्टर भी है जिसके बारे में भाजपा ज्यादा बात नहीं करती है टीवी चैनल्स और टीवी स्टूडियोज में नहीं बात करती है पर जब आप गांव में जाएंगे जब आप कस्बों में जाएंगे तो एक थर्ड फैक्टर है वो कम्युनल एजेंडा है कम्युनल फैक्टर है बिजनौर का है राहुल गांधी जी अगर एक झोपड़ी के अंदर खाना खाने जाते हैं तो आप कहते हैं बिल्कुल नर्दन पेक चीज बिल्कुल हरजन और दलित के के बिल्कुल मसीहा है अगर मोदी जी सड़क पे ये बोल देते हैं कि मैंने तो चाय बेचा है ट्रेन के ऊपर और चाय वाले के वहां पैदा हुआ हूं तो एक चर्चा हो जाती है कहते हो चाय बेचो जाके आप एक आदमी अगर दलित नेताओं को अपनी पार्टी में सम्मिलित कराता है रामविलास पासवान जी जब उनके साथ में रहते हैं तो गंगा होते हैं जब बीजेपी के साथ आते हैं तो बहता हुआ गंदा नाला बन जाते हैं ये दो प्रकार की जो जो आपकी पॉलिसी है ना वो देश को आज चर्चा के लिए मजबूर कर रही है is this strategy at all sunita feasible see the bjp would obviously want to do this because what is better for them given that there seems to be a modi factor at work they would love it to be seen as if modi is the candidate in all 80 seats is that a strategy that's going to work or at the end of the day in constituency after constituency will people eventually come down to saying well who's the candidate out here and how do the equations work out the vote is for modi that's for sure and what is modi his development plus subtle hindutva we can't forget it it doesn't have to talk about hindutva so now you'll have to look at up in two aspects the young voter is voting for modi the progress the development phase so it is a vote for modi or not anti modi yeah. now it is not uh, that the entire youngsters are going and voting then the other up is voting for caste why rahul gandhi has to be projected as a pandit at pratapgarh because it is a brahmin dominated constituency why you have while uh, mayavati has to think about social engineering at constituency level so caste still remains a very important and a driving force in up you can't yeah. ignore so it so let me ask all three of you then is that What? something not that everyone is doing i mean i was actually quite astonished to see that speech pandit rahul gandhi i mean <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where did that come from? Like, like <laughs> let me let, let me come to it. Why he has been referred as Pandit Rahul Gandhi? Just just because just because of his legacy to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and it has been said on this stage also one thing. Would they have said that in a non-Brahman dominated seat? Uh, no, it is, it is not the Brahman or non-Brahman dominated seat. It was it was in the it was yes. in the same way. It, in the same way, it has been said. Second so thing is same. that as far as UP is concerned, either their candidates are Dagi, or the Bagis of the other party, or the Muslims who are fighting. From for from the ticket of the BJP, and I can name Aap quite a few. Aap koi naam bataiye kaun masal mein? Ek bhi naam bataiye. Bridge Bhushan Singh is not. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki party mein the toh sajjan aur na na na. Aapki ये आपके okay. साथ भी श्रीराम लू जब तक बाहर थे मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी इज दैस्कॉट ऑफ डिवेलपमेंट बट आई डोंट नो वेन इट कम्स टू समाइक 
Subramaniam Swami saying that India should be declared as a Hindu Rashtra, he is still allowed to appear for BJP. What is development? Can development take place if we exclude the 25 crore people from minority community? And I'll give you an example of that, and which is very worrisome for me, and I'm sure it would be worrisome for all. They declared 270 candidates for the Lok Sabha election, only six from the minority community, whereas there are 17 percent of persons from minority community. In UP, they declared 60. Can I ask you a question though? Just a second. Other than Bahujan Samaj Party, how many of the other parties have been declaring Muslim candidates? 15. You fielded 15. Samajwadi party has fielded. Is it not a question mark? Are we talking about a development that would exclude 25 crore Indians? I have attended six out of the eight rallies that he's attended, uh, that he's held in UP. The one thing which he's doing very systematically for obvious political reasons, that he does not touch upon any of the controversial issues, which one yeah. thought that he would. Yeah. Because he is impressing upon that section of the moderate Hindu who is not influenced by Hindutva, who does not want to hear about Hindutva. Yes. And that is what he has been able to tap. To take off from what you said, in many ways, Tineshi, the cards that the BJP is playing are perfect because what Narendra Modi, as, as, she, as she was just saying, there are two types of people who might be voting for Narendra Modi. One is the sort of a person who says, I want a decisive leader and somebody who will give me good governance, right? That's one set of people. Maybe many of them are young, maybe many of them are urban, many of the, uh, so and so forth. That's one set of possible Modi voters. There's a second set who might be voting for him because of Hindutva and other factors. That he's a Hindutva icon. That voter is now, already in Modi, his pocket. Yes. Now, Mr. Modi, the second one will probably vote for him anyway. Yeah. And Mr. Modi is going on, therefore, only appealing to the first Absolutely. one, which makes exactly. good strategy. But is it and the more, hypocrisy? And the more, and the more, go, and the more like, Gaurav and others keep referring to the Hindutva factors, yeah. it makes sure that the second category actually, will vote for him Actually, more. it has but become worrisome for, for the Samajwadi Party and Congress. Congress. Rahul Gandhi ji, dharm vishesh ke liye koi arachan ki baat kare, koi dharm vishesh ko jada rahat kar pahunchayen, tab tak wo dharm nirpeksh rehte hain. BJP में मोदी जी ने आज तक मुख्यमंत्री से लेकर आज तक कभी नहीं कहा होगा कि मैं हिंदू तो बनाऊं केवल हिंदू के लिए करूंगा गुजरात में भी उन्होंने कहा कि मैं सारे अब जब मैं बोल रहा हूं आपसे नहीं बोला तो कृपया करके सुनने के लिए आप सुनने की चेष्टा करिए सुनने की चेष्टा करिए उसके बाद आप जवाब दीजिएगा मोदी जी ने हमेशा कहा कि सारे गुजरातियों के डेवलपमेंट के लिए मैं काम करूं उन्होंने कभी नहीं कहा कि केवल हिंदू के लिए करूंगा या मुसलमान के लिए करूं आज भी वो कहते हैं मैं एक सौ करोड़ हिंदुस्तानियों के लिए काम करूंगा उनके लिए मैं राज्य की व्यवस्था सुव्यवस्थाधन उसको करूंगा पूरी पूरी जितनी भी आबादी है पूरे देश की उसके लिए मैं काम करूंगा बाल की खाल मत निकालिए आबादी जो पूरे भारतवर्ष में है उसके लिए मैं काम करूंगा गुजरातियों के लिए काम भारतवर्ष का आपके लोग जरूर करते हैं जब आप सत्ता में आते हैं तो एक को साइकिल बांटेंगे एक को दहेज के लिए आप तीस हजार रुपए कन्या का देंगे दूसरी कन्या ने अपराध किया जिसको शादी के लिए आप नहीं देंगे एक को आप पढ़ाएंगे शिक्षा के लिए और दहेज के लिए मैं बहुत फर्क है एक मोदी जी ने कहा था कि जब विद्यालयों के लिए आप अनुदान नहीं देंगे शब्द आप एक जब गुजरात की बहु आती है तो वो टेलीविजन लेके आती है वो दहेज को रिफर कर रहे थे उन्होंने अपनी स्पीच में कहा उत्तर प्रदेश में कभी लेकिन दहेज की बात नहीं हुई आपको मैं आश्वासन दे कह सकता हूँ और बिहार कह सकता हूँ इसका जवाब अभी भी हमारी पार्टी में क्या निर्णय होता है इसके लिए इसके लिए दूसरे दलों को अधिकार वापस कर दिया लेकिन ये बात सही है की हमारा जो घोषणा पत्र होगा जो हमारे कार्य होंगे वो सब के लिए होंगे हिंदू और मुसलमान दोनों को बराबर करके मुसलमान हैं गुजरात से हमारे मुस्लिम गुजरात के हैं वो बराबर से तरक्की के हकदार बने और आज वो खुश हैं और मुस्लिम बाहुल क्षेत्रों में बीजेपी जीत कर आई है आई है क्वेश्चन फॉर बी एस पी एस पी एंड कांग्रेस दे आर सो डैम डिस्टर्ब बाई मोदी प्रेजेंस वाई कैन दे फील्ड अ ज्वाइंट कैंडिडेट इन वाराणसी टू डिफीट हिम Why yeah, is this dialogue? Not? We are disturbed. Why wouldn't we? Okay, we? if you are not disturbed, join candidate. Join candidate. Join candidate. When they talk candidate. about development, <laughs> but their real agenda is Hindutva. I would have respected <laughs> the BJP. I say, I would. Join no, no, candidate. Join candidate. Because we are confident that the SP candidate 
would defeat Narendra Modi even in Kashi. That is why we are not fielding a joint cabinet. Hindu dharm is not a life of living. You say that you are a Hindu, and you are saying that you are a Hindu. Our constitution says that we are a punk and nirpeksh. Our samvidhan says that we are a dharm. We are a dharm and we are a dharm. We are a dharm and we are a dharm. Her idea of a joint candidate? No, I, I, first of all, uh, I can 100% say BSP is not perplexed by Modi's presence. Okay. They are not at all disturbed. They have declared... They support Modi after the election. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. They have, they have made it... Well, we happened in the they past. saw it, it that... Three three times. Times. Keep their Please, let me speak, yaar. otherwise oh, don't call us. Yaar. Okay, Vivek, carry on. If you are saying support of BSP to BJP, you should also remember it was BSP which had made it very clear and Atal Bihari Bajpayee government fell in the center by one vote. And therefore, it is very clear that there are no trucks now. There is no truck with the communal forces that they have declared. And that is what, that is what, let us see, let us see which is the formidable force. Please, let us see which is the formidable force which is putting the secular face in UP. And it is telling in the Western part of UP, Dalit, Jats and Muslim. This is the alliance on which BSP is banking and that's why they are not at all speaking. They are not going to any campaign. They never wear the, uh, the, the turbans or the, or the caps which are worn by these people and they go for different types of organizational uh, maneuvering to Muslims and minorities. You will never see BSP doing that. But it's a, and that is it's why, a pure and simple caste selection you're saying. Huh? You're saying it's a pure and simple caste selection. If Muslims plus Jats plus Dalits, therefore we'll It win. is not caste. It is the social engineering. It is not caste. What do you mean caste and social engineering? Jats, it sounds the same thing to me. If, 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 you, see, if you see Muslims, do it, if you see Muslims, caste politics, if they do it, it is social engineering. If you see Muslim as a caste, I'm sorry. Muslim is not a caste. It's a social engineering. Social Muslims engineering and Jat is not a caste. Their, their that is also not a caste. Of caste. It is also a community. Caste plus religion. No, they, they Muslims have a caste. Yes, see that. That Fine. is what the reality is. Social engineering means no. caste plus religion. Their right? social engineering. Development. You don't see three universities which came during BSP regime. Buddha University. Buddha University. You did not see Kashi Ram Urdu Farsi University. You don't see even Shakuntala Mishra University. Respect, with the greater the respect, one thing which you can't miss and you is take seeing an what the BSP has done. Please. In Lucknow, the five thousand crores. I've never seen more monuments and parks and monuments. After Shah Jahan, I think she's the greatest builder this country. I haven't seen so many monuments to anybody since Shah Jahan. But let's let's take Shah Jahan and maybe Lutians Delhi. No, I don't care. Fine, agreed, agreed. You can't miss a statue. Let's take a vote from this. Let's take a vote from this audience. What was the condition of law and order during her regime? Just tell. Okay. Jesse, and, uh, was law and order it? better under Mayavati? Please. No. It was okay. Jesse. 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 Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang Jesse, on. the voters say that the can I, law can and order situation was much, much better. What about corruption? Jesse. Let's talk about corruption. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's talk about all the grand parts that she's is made. Everybody is to the audience. I tell you what I do. I will. I take a break and I'll come to the audience. Okay. I take a break Let's and I'll say. come to the audience.